Hey guys, so I have something very special to show you today. So I've been in contact with a game developer named Aruk since September of last year. Um, he's been working on a game called Insect Kingdom, and I didn't know very much about um, his project when he first spoke to me about it. But as of late, he has come back and he has quite a lot to show. So I'm going to let the trailer for his gameplay and there is also an interview with uh, some of the questions from people from my discord and myself that you guys might find interesting so enjoy the video everybody Alright, so I am here with a very special guest here, um, Iruk, is that how you say that? Iruk, yes. Iruk, yes. okay. Hello. Alright, um, speaking of which, um, where does the name come from? Is that a like a short for your actual name, or is that anything uh, in particular? Um, basically, I'm Polish. Uh, I've moved uh, to Scotland when I was about nine years old. And people are not really good at pronouncing my name, especially in school. So they can my real name is Eric. Ah, and that okay. seems to be a problem for some people. So they pronounce, uh, you know, like, Eric, Eric, and that kind of just stuck with me. And I ah, used that okay. as my nickname. Ah, okay, that's actually a good explanation then. That's kind of a, <laughs> I didn't expect that actually. Okay. Um, oh, fair enough. <laughs> all right, so I, I have a, a few questions and stuff. I figured that this would be a good way to get these things out of the way that maybe some people are skeptical about and so on and maybe are easily answered from your own words and stuff. So um, mm -hmm. I guess the, the first question is, is what is Insect Kingdom in like the simplest way you can explain it? Uh... It's an experience uh, because insects are not really understood yeah. by many people. They're not respected. Most people find them disgusting and just pests. That's yeah. one word to describe them for some people. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to create a game which is rewarding, replayable, entertaining, and which teaches you about, well, insects, which are, you know, very cool and they exist you know people fanboy about dinosaurs but they're sadly extinct so you know that that's that's a way to show people that there are some cool things and they're all around you so yeah oh, okay so there's like a kind of like basically the other world that most people would probably ignore like the because mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we have like the the world that we kind of live in but there's this other world that's you know below us that not too many people pay attention to or have any interest in exactly just because they're that small we just ignore them usually uh, okay so all right all right i like that um yeah and their behavior and everything else in between is just fantastic you know yeah uh, ants ants for example are the second 
species in the world to create a- agriculture, for example. Oh, or that's... rather the first, because I'm, you know, <laughs> they existed before us. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that actually kind of makes sense. I never really thought about it that way, but that's a uh, mm-hmm. that's a uh, interesting fact. So, um, yeah, uh, probably not too many people in this uh, in the audience are probably gonna know that as well. So that's it's very interesting. Um, where did this idea come from, and why insects? I'm guessing you kind of partially answered that just before, but why insects, and why are you personally creating this game? Uh. I always wanted to create a game. Uh, three years ago, I started watching a YouTube channel called Brave Wilderness. So go check oh, that yeah. out, yeah, whoever's listening. Channel. And, uh, you know, he teaches you about uh, animals in general, but also insects. He lets them bite you, bite his arm and, you know, show how the venom works on him and other crazy stuff like that. And Watching his videos, I was kind of in- intrigued, and I bought myself a flagtail centipede. Oh, wow, um, really? And that's when I kind of started, yeah. Oh, wow. It died, and now I have a tarantula. <laughs> a brachypelma smithy. It's still a baby, but yeah. Oh, okay. And I don't know, it, there's not many... Sorry, sorry to stop you. Oh, there's no, not many good. games uh, like about insects, yeah. you know? So I kind of saw, you know, a gap in the market, you could say. Yeah, yeah, actually that kind of um that kind of goes into the the next question because that's that's kind of so I'm guessing you do have a passion for uh for insects then. That's that's basically kind of a Mhm. a thing. Oh, as, so, as soon as I'll move out, I'll buy, you know, a whole collection of them because I want to have a praying mantis, a scorpion. Uh I'll buy myself another centipede probably. I'm not gonna go as far as purchasing a ant colony because there's a lot of you know space for that and maintenance. But yeah, yeah, I'll definitely have a collection. So, so no, and what about it would be bee- great. What about a beehive? A bee? No, <laughs> no, no, I'm not, gonna... <laughs> not that far. That's gonna be dangerous. No, 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 I'm not that crazy. <laughs> be a bee handler. <laughs> um, all right, so um. Uh, you did answer the kind of um, who who is Iruk or Eric, and what is your background in game development, if there if there is one. Um, I did um, game development in high school, which is not that big of an achievement in itself. Um, from high school, I moved on to do three D animation which uh, courses in college which was more than that it was obviously like uh, photography 3d modeling texturing rigging all of that and from that point i wanted to become a 3d animator at first but obviously doing 3d animations for someone who i don't really care about or doing you know uh, working on a game that i don't really care about is not the thing I want to do. And everyone wants to do something that they love for a living, you know? Yeah. And that's just what I want to do. Ah, okay. If so that makes sense. A, so, so, I mean, it's safe to say that you're kind of new to it, but it seems that you do, I mean, from what I've seen and everything, it seems like you do have some experience and it looks like a kind of a learning process, but it looks like you're, you kind of have a gist of what you're doing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a learning process. Uh, I've learned so much over the past eight months. Uh, uh, Before that, I haven't even launched Unreal Engine. And, but it's mostly self-taught, everything. You know, there are YouTube videos, there's stuff like that. So there's plenty of, uh, I don't need to go to school necessarily to learn this stuff, you know? Oh, I personally agree on that, so. Me and you definitely yeah, have that yeah. same mentality on that. <laughs> no need for extra schooling. You can teach yourself nowadays. Exactly. Uh, so I definitely agree with you on that. Um, so uh, what are some of your favorite games? And I mean, they can be of all time. And are any of these inspirations for this game? Um, obviously, The Isle would be one. People are going to draw comparisons. Yeah. I mean, they, they've been doing that already. 
Uh, I've played a lot of hours in that game, and that's probably part of the reason I wanted to start my own survival uh, multiplayer. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I would put that at the top. So that would um, be probably your main inspiration for this style of game, basically. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely say so. Obviously, I'm, I don't want to just blatantly copy. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, you're not. It's, so you're safe. Somebody in, in the comments. Yeah. Somebody in the comments of uh, uh, Raven's video said that. Uh, oh, this is just the aisle with insects. N no, mate. No, th I'm taking this in a different uh, step. Especially with the events and, I mean, they're insects. They're gonna, they're not gonna be like insect A, insect B, insect C. Yeah. You can more compare them to characters of League of Legends in that they have their own niches, abilities, playstyles. You're not gonna play as with the honeybee the way you play as the ant, for ah, example. Okay. That kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. I mean, it's uh, um, sounds more more like an rpg type of thing oh speaking of which uh ravenous yes watch his video mm -hmm. he did a he did a, like a nice introductory video um on uh this project if you want to i will try to link that down in the description for anybody who wants to check that out um also um so uh what will set your game which this kind of goes along with a little bit of what you just said there what will set your game apart from the rest in this drawn genre and what should and why should people back this project hmm i want to focus a highly on combat um obviously drunk connector exists which is another game about insects made by a solo developer i'm pretty sure or it's a and what game is you it? know uh, Drunken Nectar. Drunken Nectar. Okay, I will check that uh, out when I am done with this. <laughs> yeah, okay, of course. And uh, they focus more on kind of life stages. And, yeah. you know, you spawn uh, as a caterpillar, you have to eat leaves, blah, blah, blah. You grow as to a butterfly and you, you do different tasks. Yeah. I want to make my one, obviously, in a different direction, in a way that it's going to be highly combat based. Ah, uh, okay. So, you know, just to bring some activity into play. There will be different combat mechanics, such as, you know, uh, leaps, uh, blocks, bumps. You, for example, if another insect is blocking your attacks, uh, you can bump through the guard, yeah. and that will give you an opportunity attack. Uh, I guess I'd draw a comparison to, like, UFC, in a way that there's more than just left-clicking to it. Yeah. Okay, Especially so, stamina manage, uh, stamina management that will be important. So there will kind of be like uh, different types of attacks, maybe some sort of pairing the attacks to where you can kind of block, and then maybe like uh, something like a honeybee will be able to block an attack and maybe come in with like a sting or something for like a killing blow. Yeah, exactly. Thing. Okay. Uh, there will be like a mm, short duration between attacks, so you can't just spam uh, left click to attack and think that you're safe from the attacker if you every time you attack you're risking yourself being exposed to an attack yourself oh, so you okay. have to choose your hits wisely and obviously everything that you do every piece of movement and attack uh, drains your stamina oh, okay. so you can either be an aggressive attacker or you can uh, preservative preservative so you can just wait for the other one to lose stamina ah oh, okay well, that sounds yeah. like a game that would be very good for like, <laughs> with like controller support would probably be, <laughs> maybe something. Yeah, that'd in the be future. pretty cool actually. Yeah. yeah. And also uh, another thing would be the ant event. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, before that, I wanted to mention. Uh, I wanted to also gra add to the combat uh, grabbing mechanics. Yeah. A good example of that would be <clears throat> the leaf cutter ants. Uh, the worker AI will be able to grab onto the attacker. Uh, either, oh, okay. They will either attack or grab onto him to slow his movement down so that oh, okay. you as a player can attack him better. Oh, okay, so basically it would be like a, kind of like a, if somebody, if you were going to attack, you would have your workers kind of hold them down while you would do the killing blow, basically. Yes, exactly, exactly. 
Oh, okay. And also, who wouldn't want to play as a spider and create their own web, you know? Oh, that would Manually. be freaking cool. <laughs> that would be sick. Obviously, it's not going to be automatic. Every uh, piece of thread you're going to have to place on your own, climb on every object and attach it properly. I can actually the structure, imagine being pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I, I really want to do that, but it's definitely going to be challenging. Yeah. Because in on paper, it seems to be it seems that it's gonna work easily but you know we'll see yeah i'm like i mean i'm trying to imagine it between like two different points maybe like having a mechanic where it will, where you like kind of aim towards a certain point on like a leaf or something and then it would kind of like draw mm -hmm. a line or something to it i, I don't know <laughs> it's something i yeah, guess you're gonna have to figure out i guess i definitely need that i need that it's it would be a pretty cool mechanic and it will differentiate uh, spiders from anything else uh, okay um that kind of comes down to um are there others besides yourself working on this project or is this just a solo project at the moment at the moment it's a solo project uh for the past eight months uh, i've been doing all these different job descriptions and but definitely cannot have that continue because it puts a big strain on my real life, you know? Oh, yeah. I, I can't really go out too much because of all this work. Uh, that's why the Kickstarter is so high, because uh, the amount is so high. Because I will have to hire a lot of people to help me. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, having basically it's the labor costs that's going to be the big issue for you. Exactly, yeah. Um, what can you tell me about the creatures so far, briefly that, and any upcoming additions, if you're willing to speak on them? Uh, sorry, say that again? Um, what can you tell me about the creatures you have so far, and are, are, and any upcoming creatures or additions, if you're willing to speak on the additions? All right. Uh, first of all, I, I said it's a solo project. I also want to credit my girlfriend because she's been supporting me very much so during this. She wasn't doing development work, but without her, I would probably crumble under pressure by now, if, I'll be, if I'm being honest. But yeah, big props to her. She's helping me manage uh, Instagram, Discord, stuff like that. Oh, I was actually, um, <laughs> I was actually asking about the creatures. Um, yeah, I just wanted to put that in. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I just didn't know if you did misunderstood. Okay, go ahead and continue. No, no, no. Now back to the creatures. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, obviously, the current ones that you know of, everyone, each one of them will have a unique play style. So you can, as an, uh, as an ant, you can recruit other workers, swarm things in a group, as a honeybee, you obviously have a flight mechanic and a stinger to attack f people from the back uh, who are trying to attack you from the back, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the spider has its web, so if you're more of a... I'm not going to say lazy player, but less active, yeah. you can just create your own web and wait for things to jump into it, basically. So our web's going to be invisible to other players, or...? There will definitely be hard to spot ah okay not like in my trailer uh, on the trailer you can see a hint of the webbing yeah which is very bright and very noticeable uh i'll fix that in the actual game ah okay as yeah. of the other creatures um there's the two kickstarter exclusive ones uh, the butterfly and the firefly uh those will be added only obviously for those who bought it okay and uh, the reason I chose them is because, uh, first of all, I need the support. Yeah. Uh, second of all, uh... sorry. First of all, I need the support. Uh, second of all, it's for, you know, they don't really, they're not really game breaking, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's not like you're going to conquer the whole uh server with a butterfly or a firefly. So it's definitely not pay to win. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I had to think hard about which insects to put uh, for the Kickstarter. 
And also there are two uh, secret creatures that I want to add. Okay. Um, if we don't reach the stage of stretch goals, because, uh, you know, as it is, the goal is very high. Yeah. I still want to add two more insects. Uh, one could be a considered uh, brawler and the other one a tank. If okay. you play MMORPGs, you know. Okay. That's just a hint. I'm not going to reveal which ones. <laughs> okay. They're going to be good. But that's good. That's good that, uh, you know, letting people know there is more upcoming creatures. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the this is the one big question I think that a lot of people. This is the one that I've gotten the most. Um, mm -hmm. So many people are skeptical after the issues of Andrama of Day of Dragons. What assurances do we have that this won't be a repeat situation? <sighs> First I know of all, you've gotten this I've, one a few uh, times too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, first of all. Um, I've created all of this by myself. I haven't bought anything online. Trust me, I was disappointed as most people were because I bought a version for myself and my girlfriend. Yeah, and I yeah, bought it as it well. Didn't go so. as far. <laughs> yeah, of course we back. were. We were excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm disappointed. We were happy. We were sold a dream, you know. Yeah, playing as dragons. Come on. Yeah. Um, I mean, hopefully it works out for them eventually, but the decisions that were made and the, the lies, uh, I don't know. So far, I feel like I've been transparent with people. I've been communicative. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to answer questions and I've been doing so on Discord uh, and soon on the stream. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not gonna be like that <laughs> i spent too long to and also the kickstarter goal it's a risk for me too you know a hundred thousand yeah uh, the, the way kickstarter works is that it's all or nothing yeah so if we reach ninety nine thousand and the time runs out that's it all of my eight months of work all the 3d animations textures rigs uh, all of that could be all for nothing, you know? Yeah. And I put too much time and effort into this too. Yeah. No, that's uh that's that sounds good. I mean like uh for me, um that was one one of the things that were really impressive to me were that um you were taking the the hard work route of making a game a passion a passion project that is not something that's it's not store bought there is everything is custom everything is exactly what you're you're going for what you want and i i really respect that and i i want wanted yeah. it spoken out of your own words you know that was that was so other people can be assured that you know you are like the real deal not um another repeat situation and you know people are not you know going to expect any drama or anything out of you uh you have my support so um thank you i appreciate it i mean there will always be drama yeah yeah people and will find a way to yeah. <laughs> i would expect that you'll probably find your own trolls at some point it's just inevitable but as for now i mean you know i i, I trust you and i believe that you are going to make a wonderful awesome game i mean i I welcome criticism. I'm not gonna bury my head underground like certain people do. I'm <laughs> definitely not gonna ban people for that. Yeah. That's stupid. Uh, so, yeah. I'm happy to communicate and I, I need feedback. I'm doing this alone so far and any suggestions and help would be perfect, you know? Yeah, yeah. I welcome that. I agree with that, yeah. Um. All right, and will this game have any microtransactions or no, or no. after purchase fees of any kind? No, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I hate those. So you uh, get what you. There are certain games get. that I play which have a lot of those. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna reveal which, but you will not see a single microtransaction in my game. I'm saying this right now. Okay. The goal is high enough for me to avoid that. That, and that's part of the reason why the goal is so high. Yeah. So I can survive without having to put DLCs and 
cheap things like that into my game. Okay. So yeah. basically, you you purchase the one time, and that is uh, that is you get the entire full experience. Um, not exactly. For example, tier two creatures. Yeah. Um, you will have to buy them with in-game currency, which you will not be able to buy, obviously, with real money. You will have to earn a bet by playing tier one insects. Okay. So. Oh, there will be progression, okay. but nothing involving money. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's. I think that most people would agree with that. It basically, you have to work within the game to earn the currency to be able to, to progress. I mean, we all love achievements and rewards. Come on. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say yeah. uh, I, I think everybody would be agreeing, would be yeah, in yeah. agreement with that. Okay. Um, you also spoke about uh, to me before about early access release in August on Steam. Is that still your expected delivery date? Or delivery time estimated uh, yes it is definitely um, I'm gonna try to make it happen obviously I can't predict the future yeah so things may go wrong things may speed up or whatever uh, I will definitely let people know how that is going okay and just, just to give a bit of perspective I told you uh, before this uh, interview um, the way the early access will look like will be similar to the way the trail trailer looks like. So the things that are in the trailer will be in the game by the time the early access comes out. Okay. So it's not like a certain game where you just spawn and have nothing to do. <laughs> okay. And they put on early access. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely yeah. no tech demo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, horrible. Anyway. Um... <laughs> All right, so um, quick, uh, quick thing though. Um, where can people find you if they uh, want to support you and you know be involved in your uh, your project? Um, so you can find me on Twitch. I stream uh, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at five o'clock London time, GBT. Uh, we we also have a community Discord, Insect Kingdom which you can join and, you know, ask me questions, talk to me, whatever. Okay. Uh, and also Instagram, which I wasn't really a fan of setting up, but, you know, it's just another way of uh, seeing progress. Ah, okay. So, and... yeah, my girlfriend helps me manage that. <laughs> all right. I will have all of those links in the description below for anybody who uh, wants to go check those out. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, I could probably say this for everybody, uh, good luck with the project. I will be keeping a close eye on the project. I will stay in communication with you as well. Um, uh, this is, uh, I, I am very, I'm very impressed with what you've been able to achieve within the last eight months, which I know that you've, uh, you contacted me months ago about this and mm -hmm. I asked. Yeah earlier on um just uh show me what you have when you are ready to move forward with this and here we are today i'm 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 impressed and i i, I really look forward to this and i cannot wait to uh have a go at your wonderful creation so good luck and um if anybody wants to check them out go ahead and hit the description uh check out the description and i will see you guys in the next video Cut. Okay. <laughs> Cut, yeah.